Hello everyone and welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge and in this particular lecture we are going to learn about how to write and use function in JavaScript. Right? Okay. So uh, before starting let's see the definition. What is the definition of a function? So a uh, function in a JavaScript is basically a block of code which is designed to perform a specific task. Right? It only runs when it is called or either it is invoked. So that's a basic definition about what is functions. And let's see that how it works and how uh, we need to write the code for the functions inside the JavaScript. Let's go. So we came to our Visual Studio code. And as you can see, I'm having few files here. That is index.html file, style.css file, uh, external javascript file named script.js but it is not required uh, in this particular example or tutorial right okay and our txt file also where we can talk to each other with the help of text right if we need it uh, okay so uh, here you can see that in the html i'm having a main tag inside of it i am having a h1 tag and a button uh, here inside the button it is written click here inside the h1 it is written the subscribe the channel which you should right okay and uh, here in the end i'm having a script tag where i will write the javascript code fine so for writing the functions in the javascript first we have to understand that what is the basic syntax of a javascript function so uh, let's see the basic syntax is that first you write a function and then you write a function name and then you put a parenthesis and then you put a curly bracket and inside of it you write your own code or whatever the logic you want to write inside the function so this is how we write our function this is the basic syntax of it right okay i hope that you get it now move forward so moving forward one more thing which you need to learn is that after writing every function you need to call that particular function right the code inside that particular function will run only when you will call that function so for calling that function you need to write function name again and this parenthesis and that's it when you write this what it will happen that this particular function will run it will be called right so this particular calling code or the line should be written after the ending of this curly bracket did you get it you cannot write it inside this particular function or the curly bracket you cannot write it here it is a wrong way right okay i hope you get it that how you can uh, create a function syntax and how you will call it right okay let's move forward now i will give you a very basic and a simple example of a function right okay so uh, rather than writing this calling function here right i need i will call it with the help of this particular button so what i'm doing is that on click on click is basically a action which occurs when you click on the button tag uh, this is how our website is looking first let me show you so this is how it is looking and you can see that but that button is here when you click on it then only the function will be called and this could be done only when when you write on click here okay okay and then we will write the name of the function that is function name right and you can change the function name this was just for example uh, now i want to uh, i want write i want to write a function name greet and let's change here also so the function name will be greet right okay so this is how you write the function name and this is how you call it let's remove this call button and then uh, since on clicking the button on clicking the button this particular function will be called and inside of it we can write our particular code and what i want to write is that i want a alert and alert will show what hey how 
are you okay so this is what happened this is what uh, will come as an alert when we click on the button right so let's see that whether it is working or not so this is our browser and this is the click here button simply click on it and you can see that uh, alert came and inside of it it is written hey how are you right so every time when you click on this button you will see that particular alert is coming and it is popping out so this is how it is looking right so this happens only because of your function the function you have written right so i hope you understand that what it is and how a function is called right okay now let's understand the function with parameters what is parameter let me show you that what is parameter right so in the same in the same uh, line of code what we are doing going to do is that we are going to give a parameter to the function and the parameter is written inside this parenthesis like the par parameter is name and that we are going to use inside of it hey and then i will add a plus then i will write that name the parameter right and again plus and then i will write how are you let's add a gap also here right okay now every time when the button is clicking i will give an argument to it argument means what argument is given when you are calling a function argument is given when you are calling a function so i am going to give an argument name an argument will be piyush let the name of the boy is piyush and that piyush is going inside the function which we have written as a parameter so this is argument this is parameter now that particular parameter is being called inside the line of code which we are writing inside the function now inside the alert we have used this parameter and this particular name is now containing the argument which we sent that is piyush so let's see that how it is looking when i click here you can see hey piyush how are you right so how this piyush came because we have not written the piyush here we have only only written the name name right so this name was a parameter which was containing a value which been sent while calling the function as an argument and what was that argument that argument was inside the parenthesis which is piyush right so this is how you uh, create a function used with the help of parameter right i hope you get it so this is about the function with parameters i hope you understand it now let's come to the next part that is a function with the return value function with the return value let's understand that also so now we are going to write a function function and uh, a function will be a mathematical function right that is add right and then what we do we add a parenthesis we add a curly bracket now we will write a return here return will do what that with the help of return like in the particular add function let's say we are having two different parameters that is a comma b right and i want that every time the function will be called that particular function will return a particular value or something which will come out every time when the function will be executing so that is what a plus b right where this a is coming a is coming from this parameter b is coming from that parameter and on the values which i am getting through the parameter i am applying a mathematical function that is a plus b and i want this particular value to get returned from the function right okay now when i call this what it, it will happen is that let result equals to add 3 comma 4 right okay so i am calling the function name add and inside of it i am giving two different arguments argument is what value right so i am giving two different arguments that is one is for a a a's value is what 3 and b's value is what 4 right and whatever the value is 
coming by the return you need to store it inside a variable and here i am using a variable named result okay so i am storing the value of that particular function inside a variable named result and then i am i want to print it so uh, one more thing you need to understand that every time you go on your browser and you right click your mouse and then you will see this and you have to go on the last that is inspect and when you click on it and go on the top you will see a console simply click on it and now whatever the function you have created or whatever the javascript code you have uh, written everything will be running on this particular console so if i so if i call my result result is what result is this variable now if i call the result here result so i am getting 7 as you can see as you can see right when i have written result it is giving me 7 how it is giving it to me because the add function had written a particular value by performing a mathematical function a plus b and it is doing a return so it is returning this a plus b and that return value is stored inside a variable named result and we are we can call it and use it this value in whatever way we want inside our code right okay this is how you make it a uh, function with the return value fine i hope you get it simply what other thing could be done is that you can create a function with the help of arrow uh, it is basically a short syntax or in the modern time or mainly when you are going to write the javascript code for the big projects you are actually going to use the arrow function not uh, this uh, traditional way of writing function this is also applicable but we use the arrow function how it is written uh, simply what you need to do is that you have to remove this function and need to write anything like anything will be air let const which you want any parameter right okay and simply you are getting a function name and in after that function name you need to write an equals to and then after this bracket right like first you need to write a parameter that is const uh, and then you are writing the name of the function then you are writing equals to then you put a parenthesis inside of which you will write a parameter and then you will write a equals to and an arrow button and now this is how you write your what you write your arrow function this is the basic syntax of it so inside the arrow function you just need to understand that you need uh, to write the how do you need to write a particular syntax for it so this is the particular syntax for your arrow function and uh, arrow function are basically shorter and they are useful for the simple task right so uh, you can uh, skip the function keyword when you are writing the arrow functions right so that's what we did actually that we remove the function and inside of uh, this uh, we have written const in the return of that right okay i hope you get it that how actually it is working and how the function works we have understand that what is the syntax of it we have made a very simple example of it and then uh, we understood that what is parameter and argument in a function we understand that what is a written value in a function we understand that what is the arrow function so a lot more things we have understood in this particular video i hope you get it every concept clearly if there's any doubt you can write it in the comment section and i will try my best to answer that and uh, make sure that you stay updated and connected to this channel thank you so much for watching goodbye